Hi everyone and welcome back to James Does Music. Today's episode is top four albums to avoid. Now, every artist has usually has that one album that just didn't hit the mark. Like, they might be a great band, you might like some of their other stuff, but there's always that one album that just, out of the rest of them, just never, uh, never got your attention. So at the number four spot is Crazy World by Boys Like Girls. Now, I mentioned that Boys Like Girls, their self-titled album, was on my top ten albums a few episodes back, but Crazy World was such a weird departure for them. Like, they went from, like, the boy band of pop punk to a weird, like, country-influenced style, and, like, they lost me with the instruments, and the lyrics were odd and arranged, arranged differently than they had to be. And just, it was an all-around really bad album compared to how good Boys Like Girls usually is, especially their self-titled album. Like, I would love if they went back to that kind of sound. At the number three spot is This Is War by New Found Glory. Now, I love New Found Glory. Sticks and Stones is a great album, and, like, they're self-titled. And even their newest one, Makes Me Sick, is a really good album. But This Is War is just a really, really odd album. Like, the instruments aren't arranged very well, and, like, the lyrics are weird, and I feel like this album lacks a direction for the most part. And what made me listen to it in the first place is both how much I liked New Found Glory and the fact that it was produced by Blink-182's Mark Hoppus. And, I'm sorry, Mark, I love you, but I don't think you fit as a producer. I, I feel like you need somebody else there. Because um, a lot of what is wrong with this album, I can accredit to what the producer is supposed to be able to check on and produce. So, I love you, Mark. I love Blink-182, but I think you should stay out of the producer's seat for the most part. Now, at the number two spot is No Pads, No Helmets, Just Balls by Simple Plan. And I know I'm going to get a lot of people butt hurt for this album because, like, oh my god, I love that album. Simple Plan is great. Yeah, Simple Plan is great, but they needed to grow into themselves a little bit more. Like, their older stuff... Um, they were pretty young when they did it, so it's, it's not really well written, it's, like, you could tell it was kind of hastily made up, and just the feeling of the album and the tone of the album just never really caught my attention, and I just, I can't sit through the whole album. Like, I love I'm Just a Kid, and of course I'd do anything, but those were the two mainstream single songs, so of course they're gonna be the best ones on the album. But, like, I could never make myself sit through the whole album, and I've had to turn it off halfway through a few times, which... As a avid listen of, listener of music, I never turn off an album halfway through. Like, that never happens. I have to see it through to the end most of the time. At the number one spot, and probably my most hated album of all time, is A Thousand Sons by Linkin Park. Now, I mentioned this on my top ten albums, is that they changed their sound. They, they made it, like, this really weird, dark electronica sound that, like, that really was a big departure from their rock, pop, punk sound with the synthesizers, which was great. But... This album holds such a bad place in my heart to the point that, like, I collected the rest of the Linkin Park albums, and I consider that this one doesn't exist, so I don't feel bad about not owning it. And just... I mean, Waiting for the End and Catalyst, the two singles, were okay, but again, as mentioned in the last one, they were the two mainstream singles. Of course, they're going to be good songs. They need to be in order to be on the radio. And, like, that was the only two good songs on the album. The rest of the album just, I felt was too big of a departure for Linkin Park. And I mean, the next album, Living Things, where they tried to combine it with their old music was fine, and that's what why Living Things is one of my favorite albums now, is because that's what bands should do, in my opinion, is they shouldn't change so drastically that you can't even recognize them anymore, they should gradually change so that like they include new elements in their previously established music. Linkin Park is pretty bad at that. Uh, looking at you, One More Light, you cookie-cutter pop, bullshit uh, <laughs> um, so this has been James Does Music uh, do you disagree with anything I say or do you have albums that you hate that you want me to check out uh, leave them down in the comments below um, and I'll see you soon